Yo, fellow Pawners, Owners, and Dragon Esters, I have a red mean aura behind my head. <laughs> anyway, Momo Jean here. Welcome to my second version of my skill build. Uh, after much thought and gaming, okay, I've decided my defensive paladin guide is gonna get an improvement. Okay, first of all, let's get some let's get some things clear first. Okay, so as I dance with a red aura behind my head. Okay, my defensive paladin guide is a guide for clerics taking on guardianship. I want to elaborate more on this. Um, what I'm trying to do here is I don't present a single build in the areas of skills, uh, equipment, and heraldry for you to rigidly follow. Okay, I'm here to guide you to make it easier for you to develop your own build that will suit your style. Okay, to think for yourself and for you to be flexible. I'm doing this uh, by setting this uh, things up systematically. Very easy for the structured system here. Okay, uh, and guide and guys, my build is based upon this system. My build is not the best in all types of situation. Do note. Okay, follow my guide, which is the system, uh, not my build. My build is only an example. So let's get started. Remember, I told you about the. Uh, four essential duties of a paladin in my previous uh, version of my skill build. Uh, it involves uh, aggro attracting, I believe, uh, absolute blocking, damage boosting, damage defense boosting, and HP healing. Okay? Uh, the, and the important skills are usually categorized under these four, um, four uh, duties, okay? Or four uh, classifications. Okay, I'm here to add a new essential duty, which is dam dealing damage. Yes, and you guys are like, yay, finally. <laughs> okay, um, and this is going to be uh, one of the categories of, um, of uh, being a defensive paladin. Okay, mind you, I'm not adding this role because of pressure from critics. Okay, I thought this out very clearly. Okay, so my here is how my skill system works in guiding you in creating your own build. Okay, right now we've got five duties. Okay, I'm gonna repeat again: aggro attracting, absolute blocking, damage dealing. Okay, d uh, damage defense, damage and defense boosting, and of course HP healing. Okay, um, the thing here is this: aggro attracting and absolute blocking is actually more effective. Okay. Uh, listen carefully, okay? It's more effective in situations where the boss does directional skills, directional attacks, where you can actually lure him one side and the skills he's going to throw at you is in one direction only, okay? Whereas damage dealing is more effective in situations where the boss, okay, uh, does multi directional uh, skills. In other words, it's more AoE. The reason why I say this is because. When he does AOE skills, there is no point for you to actually, um, you can block up, that's for sure, uh, just for just for your sustenance, that's for sure. You just block up for your sustenance and you continue, um, but the only way you can, you can't help your teammates avoid those area of fact skills, it's up to them to dodge them well. So that is the reason why when the boss uh, does like multi-directional skills, like in fact AOE around him, your best bet is to sustain yourself and continue p humping damage into the monster. Yeah, that's the only way you can contribute. That's actually one thing I, I learned the hard way, of course. Uh, Apocalypse is one of the reasons, uh, one of the examples because he's doing like, I believe 80% of the time multi-directional attacks and getting aggro is important, it helps, but it's not the most effective just because while he's doing all those multi-directional skills, you can't really uh, sustain um, your teammates other than using HP healing and damage defense boosting. That's why I'm going to talk about um, damage defense boosting and HP healing are usually uh, more effective in both situations. So the basic thing here is this. Um, now you have five duties, right? Okay. What happens here is the more points, skill points you pump into skills under a certain category, okay, the more effective you are in that category of a duty. Okay, let's have more skills in damage dealing. Okay, I got electric smite, lightning zap, all the way. You are probably going to be very, very effective uh, as using dealing that damage dealing and dealing damage. Sorry, damage dealing. I failed grammar there. Um, yeah, and if you 
pump a lot in your block, absolute blocking skills, you're probably very strong in sustenance and tanking. And provoke, there's only one skill, so <laughs> you probably maxed it. Heal, there's also one only one skill, so you probably uh, maxed it for... That's the only way to get its effectiveness up. Okay, I want to cover a bit about the skills under damage dealing. For skills under uh, agro attracting, absolute blocking, uh, HP healing, and damage defense boosting, I refer to my previous skill build, the first skill build, okay? There are actually two types of damage that you deal as a paladin, of course. I mean, many of you would know there's the physical, the, the physical one and the light-based damage, okay? But I'm, I'm going to categorize things like this. Um, you got... You got... You actually got three. Uh, you actually got three types of skills, uh, offensive skills here. One are ones are more movement oriented skills, which are armor break. Okay, I just feel <laughs> armor break, dive kick. Okay, and of course, uh, shield charge. And of course, uh, some are like semi, um, more movement oriented, like divine combo, and yeah, stuff like that. And you've got the second, uh, moving on, we've got the second type, which is DPS oriented skills or damage per second oriented skills. The only one I can come up with is this. <laughs> yes, Holy, Half Turn Kick and Holy Kick uh, combined with 50% action, attack speed, uh, heraldry is both of them. Okay, this is the only DPS oriented skill just because there's no cooldown on it. And of course, the last one, which is the high damage AOE oriented skills. Okay, there are many types under this category, I believe. Um, there is most of them are light based. Um, surprisingly, of course, not surprisingly, because Crusaders are going to ditch out a heck of damage. You've got the Charge Bolt. Um, these don't just provide uh, high damage and AOE. They also have uh, that light, not light. Sorry, the shock, the shocking effect, where it helps your party members with. Um, Utility wise, there's Charge Bolt, there is Holy Bolt. Surprisingly, I have Holy Bolt because of the I want it for the stun. Okay, and we have a Holy Relic, which has pretty decent armor break. Sacred Hammering for your whacking, of course. I guess this is the DPS for Crusaders. Lightning Zap, which is a nice, massive. AOE high damage skill. You can basically kill lots of monsters with it. And electric smite. Um, here it also it's half half. It's half um attack power and half magic power. Uh, that's the reason probably why you guys are telling me to go ahead and get it. In fact, I'm, what I'm trying to do here is being try to be pure physical damage as much as possible. But um, when I look at electric smite, I look it's it's such a long way just to get uh attack power there attack power based skill offensive skills um but one thing good is um don't follow me if you want to get go ahead and get there's nothing wrong with that in fact this is one of the highest uh, armor breaking in other words staggering skills which is really good for wrecking bosses so again i'm gonna say again so with limited uh, skill points the limited skill points you have okay you decide for yourself how effective you want to be in each of these five duties okay by focusing on some duties, you lose out effectiveness in some duties. That's why when I focus out so much in provoke damage and defense boosting, HP healing and provoking, I lose out a lot on damage dealing. Uh, in fact, the only one I can I can come up until is this. Uh, I think I can afford a bit of light based damage, but um, I'm not I'm just I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna stick to uh, the best I can is the DPS oriented offensive skills. That's the high. That's as much as I can go. Um, yeah, majority of paladins, right, they actually make damaging roll a primary role with offensive skills added all the way to electric smite, okay? That one you should know, okay? I'm not here to persuade you to be like me. I'm here to give you a very nice system where you can follow and for you to decide what you want to do, okay? This is uh, quite the effective, the, the offensive build, uh, offensive physical damage build is actually quite an uh, effective build considering that the strongest nest boss right now uh, that everyone is trying to conquer, even including myself. Okay, is actually Apocalypse that most and most of Apocalypse attacks, like I said just now, are multi-directional. They're like, whoa, you shoot everywhere. Okay, which greatly reduces the effectiveness of the roles of aggro attracting and absolute blocking. Yeah, in other words, damage dealing there is actually more effective. That's why I'm I I've got bashed so badly for my build, actually my skill build. But now with the Skill build 2.0, I hope you guys are, um, are 
accepting, I'm getting, uh, I'm gonna accept me more, especially the cleric brotherhood. Okay? Uh, thank you for watching. Please rate, continue. Please rate, continue, and subscribe. What? Continue what? <laughs> Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and thank you for watching, guys. Ciao.